Hi, in this video I'll show you how to do a foil effect using GIMP 2.8 and I'm going to show you two different ways to do this. The first way we are going to use our already existing texture. I'm going to include a link in the description to this texture so you can get it and use it alongside with me. And in the second way we are going to do it uh, by uh, creating a texture ourselves. And this tutorial is suggested by one of you guys, one of my subscribers. If you want to suggest a tutorial, you can do that by leaving a comment. So, let's get started. First thing, of course, we need to open the texture. And as you can see, maybe this is not the perfect texture for this effect, but uh, it's very uh, difficult to find free textures out there. So, we have uh, pretty much limited options and still it's a good way to uh, experiment and make it look good even if it's not perfect for this uh, effect. And the next thing we need to do is to duplicate this layer and select the background layer, go to the edit menu and fill it with the foreground color, which is black by default. Next we need to grab the text tool, click here and write, for example, GIMP foil text effect then control a to select the entire text and change the size to 600 pixels I'm also going to make it bold using this option now let's move it over here and we need to also move the layer on top so we can see it and grab it move it over here and grab the text tool again I'm going to click here and click the enter key to put this on the next line and then use this option over here which will center the text then again grab the move tool and position it around here now the next move will be to right click on the text layer here and choose the alpha to selection option then we go to the select menu feather reduce to 2 pixels then click ok then we can actually make this invisible by clicking on the eye icon then go here on this layer right click click on the add alpha channel option then we go ahead and use the uh, keyboard shortcut control i which will invert the selection you can also do this by going here select menu invert and then we need to press the delete key then we go to select none as you can see this doesn't look very good so far but we can improve on it a lot by uh, duplicating this layer first using this option and then go ahead and grab the blend tool and from the gradient here click on this and just scroll down until we find the golden gradient this one and then click outside here now don't click inside because as you can see the edges here of the gradient are kind of, kind of dark so if we click somewhere here this is what's going to happen very dark on the sides here we don't want that Control Z to undo this go a little bit outside then go outside here release the next thing we need to do is again select the text so right click on the text layer alpha to selection then go here Let's go ahead and feather the selection with two pixels again. Then control I to invert it and delete key. Control shift A to deselect or you can do it by going to the select menu, select none. Next we can change the mode here of this layer to something different. And this will be the multiply mode. If you check out the other, the burn, overlay, soft light, they don't really look that good. The multiply, however, gives the effect a much better look. And if the effect is too strong, we can always control it with the opacity here. So you can remove a little bit or leave it as it was. So this looks pretty good considering the starting texture. Now let's go ahead and do it with the texture that we are going to create ourselves. Let's go to the file menu, click on new and here we're going to type the dimensions for 1080p. 
size which is 1920 by 1080 click on ok and this will create a new image here I'm going to duplicate this using this option on the background again I'm going to fill with black color on the top layer here I'm going to again use the golden gradient just click and drag like this and fill with the golden gradient on the top layer selected here I'm going to click on this option to create a new layer and just use the default here with transparency click OK before I continue I have to say that the person who suggested this tutorial also said that he can find a GIMP tutorial on the subject so I went ahead and looked and it's really only Photoshop tutorials on this at least I couldn't find a GIMP tutorial on YouTube and uh, I watched one of the Photoshop tutorials even though the tools in GIMP and Photoshop are very different you can uh, still kind of figure out a way to implement it in GIMP and I tried to figure out such way and I almost got it there but I was kind of missing a step it wasn't looking very good so I went ahead and did a Google search and find a very good post by a uh, Esper Machine, I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly. I think he's a subscriber for a long time and he does very good uh, tutorials on his blog. So I'm going to include a link in the description for that particular post which I read and which kind of solved the mystery of what I was missing when I was trying to do this. So I'm going to use pretty much one of the ways that he has described there. I tweaked it a little bit but it's pretty much the same so go ahead and check out later the link in the description to his blog so let's continue the next step will be to select this top layer go to the filters menu go to render clouds solid noise click on that and here we are going to go to approximately 12 for the X size doesn't have to be 12 if you go a little bit uh, on top of that it's okay something like this for the X and Y size then click OK this will fill this top layer with this noise then we go back to the middle layer with the golden gradient right click on that and add a layer mask click on this option then just use the defaults click add then go back to the top layer control C to copy it then make sure you click on the layer mask, not on the layer itself, but on the layer mask and press Ctrl V. Then go ahead and right click on this layer and choose the anchor layer option. This as you can see anchored the uh, noise layer here. Next we can select the top layer and delete it. We don't really need it anymore. So click on this option to delete it. Then right click on this layer here and choose this new from visible option then we can go back to this one and delete it too we're not going to need it then with this one selected we go to filters menu and start the Jimic plugin and this plugin is uh, incredibly useful if you don't have it make sure to just do a google search download it it has a ton of useful filters you can see the amount of filters available here so something that you must have with GIMP then in the search here we can just type glass and we are going to get this texture glass option here. You can tweak the uh, options here but the defaults work pretty well for this example. Just click apply and goes to work. The filter is now applied. You can see it in the background how the image looks. Then we go ahead and uh, search for the unsharp mask. And here it is. And this will give it this shiny look then just apply again with the defaults you can see how it looks behind we can just close now the uh, gmic plugin the next step will be to create our text so grab the text tool click here and i'm going to type the same text gimp foil text effect then Control A to select the entire text and this time I'll change it to 200 pixels, make it bold, 
by the way you can use a different font I'm using the default font but with a different font this might look even better just move it over here grab the text tool again this option is already selected so the text is centered move to adjust the position to somewhere around here then let's go ahead and choose the alpha to selection option make this invisible go to the select menu again feather two pixels click ok control i then go to this layer here make sure we have an alpha channel in this in this uh, theme if it's bold and uh, blurry like this this means that you already have an alpha channel so we can't select it delete key Control shift a to deselect and you can see how this looks it is a little dark so again we can improve it by this time duplicating the layer and going here to the mode just mouse over and turn the mouse wheel uh, backward and this will change the mode you can see how this one looks it looks pretty good the dodge mode this one the addition also looks pretty good you can adjust the opacity to your liking I think this this uh, texture that we created looks much better I think the addition looks good maybe with a little bit less opacity like this it looks much better than this one you can see the difference this looks more like a foil to me so that's it for this tutorial I hope that it was useful if it was make sure to like it if you're new make sure to visit my channel for more if you have a suggestion for a new tutorial, make sure to leave a comment. And that's it for this one. Bye for now.